Hello, this is the macro oscillator algorithm on the Disting EX. This gives you four completely independent instances of the Braids module design, uh, open source design as written by Emily Gillet of Mutable Instruments and cloned any number of times and now inside the Disting. As I say, you've got uh, four of these in here. Uh, each has its own output, one, two, three, four, and each has its own parameters. So I don't propose to give you a complete demo of um, what a braids macro oscillator does. Um, there are plenty of videos on the internet already all about that. Um, I will just point out some things that are possibly different about the disting implementation. Um, so that's the output from this one. Um, selection the model on the parameter, that is you'd expect. And then you've got the timbre and the color. And of course you can stick CVs into these as well and um, modulate them that way. Um, and the envelopes are available if we turn the VCA on and give it a trigger. I've got a trigger from a LFO here. Pop that in there. There we go. So, um, now obviously the disting, although it's got enough outputs for four uh, braids, it doesn't have enough inputs for them all to be independent. So by default, they're shared like so. Um, you can assign those completely however you like through the um, algorithms menu. But you can also con control them via MIDI. So this is a good time perhaps to mention the CVM8 expander. Uh, it's a CV to MIDI module, which also works quite nicely as a Disting EX input expander. So for example, we could um, give the clock that we just popped into there and stick it into CVM8 and then go and have that trigger it via MIDI. So the menus for this are here into the macro oscillator menu, then settings, and then much like the uh, original braids, there's a lot of stuff kind of hidden in these in these menus. But um, this is where you also configure your inputs, CV, FM, trigger, timbre, and color, CV inputs for each of the oscillators. And it's where you set up the MIDI. So for example, if we wanted this one to be triggering, Oscillator 1, we could put that up to trigger. This one's generating MIDI note 48. So we'll do that. And now we're triggering it through the CVM8 into the disting. But of course you don't need that. You could just use the input on the module itself. So, yeah, I mean, what this else is there to say that other than that there are indeed four of these. So if I take the output out of that one instead, that's now number two control my uh, second oscillator. Um, so yeah, things on the parameters are the timbre and the color, so you can tweak those manually as well as give them CV inputs, um, all the normal envelope things that are on the braids. And then a coarse tune, fine tune, and the quantizers there as well with these Nice uh, scale names that I'm sure mean something to somebody. But they're all there, and the root note, and then we're on to number three. Um, and then once we've been through all of those, then there are some more parameters uh, in the higher numbers for each one. So there's the resolution of the oscillator, so that does the bit crushing thing. Uh, of course, we're on number two, let's go up to number two bit crushing, and then the sample rate decimation, and then the trigger source, which is the um, braids feature to automatically re-trigger when it gets a new pitch, and the trigger delay uh, to account for things that change their CV and then um, trigger it a little bit late. So there, that's uh, the macro oscillator on the Disting EX for four completely independent braids in one.
handy box. Just 